thing that kind of started me off on the on these whole trips was actually nothing more exciting than just having a really boring office job and just wanting to escape the daily grind and, and just have, a, have an adventure, really. I didn't really have any mental or physical <laughs> preparation. I just, you know, I mean, I, I, I just really was so kind of eager to get out there and hit the road that I, I didn't really, I mean, obviously I, I prepared uh, with the, you know, the bike and, you know, like paperwork and all that kind of stuff, but I didn't go on any kind of fitness regime or anything like that. Probably should have done really, but um, no, not, nothing specific. I did practice off-road riding though, trail riding and stuff. I don't think you have to be some kind of amazing rider to do these kind of trips. In fact, I know people that pass their tests just so they could do a round the world trip and they had a perfectly good time. I, I certainly wouldn't classify myself as an expert rider. Um, I just think you have to have the right attitude and just want to have a go really. And it's easy to think, oh, I have to be an expert mechanic, an expert rider, an expert linguist, an athlete. And I, you don't at all. I mean, I'm living proof of that. You, you can just be a normal person and have an amazing adventure. I don't, I, I wouldn't call myself a motorcycle mechanic by any stretch of the imagination. I did um, like a, a basic bike mechanics course before I left on my first trip. Uh, but really, I learned mostly just on the job, you know, I, I used to ride British bikes, I had BSAs, and because they break down all the time, you soon get used to like making roadside repairs and bodges and all that sort of stuff. And um, going trail riding a lot, you know, you have to be able to fix your bike on the trail and things might break. And, and, and I, I perform my own maintenance as in replacing consumables like cables, brake pads, chain sprocket, things like that. I wouldn't... Um, probably delve into an engine very merrily but um but you know i i can kind of get by and if i can't fix it then there's always always somebody that can and that's one of the benefits of riding a very simple bike as well that some bush mechanic will be able to fix it for you i think there's a lot of motives for people doing this kind of trips and adventures some of the time it's escaping from something and some of the time it's looking for something um i mean I, i've met people that are just out there for a jolly trying to you know, have a laugh, get laid, and there's other people that are looking for the love of their life or, you know, escaping from sad situations maybe at home and, and trying to find meaning and stuff. And then other times it's just, you know, just for the sheer hell of it. There's that quote from Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance where it says that if you're travelling by car, then you're watching the movie. If you're travelling by bike, you're in the movie. And I think that sums it up perfectly. Because on a bike, you're out there in the elements, you're feeling every single kind of weather, whether it be rain or wind or sun or snow or anything, but you're out there and it's happening literally in your face. And, you know, and then you've got the butterflies fluttering around your face or the smells wafting past from some cafe or something. And, and that's what it's all about. And also it means you, you know, when you stop and interact with people, you're right there and you can just speak to them immediately. You're not walled off from them in this kind of metal box. And I think that's, that's a really healthy way to see the world and meet people. Yeah, doing these trips has definitely changed my life. I mean, it gave me a new career, which which was a kind of byproduct really that I wasn't expecting. But um, that's how I got into writing, um, which was fantastic, and that's probably the best thing for me that's come out of it. But other than that, it's also it just gives you, um, I think, a sense of just self confidence and. Um, you're more willing to take risks and have a go at things and not just relating to motorcycling or travel but just generally in, in all areas of your life. I'm really pleased to see that a lot more girls are doing um, these kind of trips on bikes and I, I just think that's brilliant. It, it, there's absolutely no reason why you can't um, have a motorcycle adventure as a woman uh, and in some ways I, I think it's advantageous even. I think you get into places, you get that, that you may not do if you're a man or a couple of guys together can be seen as an intimidating, you know, image. While as a, you know, a girl isn't, you know, isn't generally viewed that way. So often you get accepted into family situations and things like that. And, and you know, on the whole, people want to help you. I mean, people are curious and, and friendly and they want to help. And that's been my experience all over. If somebody's planning a trip or what, just even dreaming about doing a trip like this, I would just say go for it. It really is just so exciting. It's just such a fantastic thing to do. It's a wonderful way to travel. It's a great way to see the world and to meet people. And you never know what might come out of it. And, and really, I think the key thing is, and something that somebody told me before I left on my trip, is it's so much easier in, re in real life than it sounds. And, uh, and that is really true. Once you're out there, you just get on with it and you just have a brilliant time.